you have to understand that I'm still in this low phase trying to overcome from this phase but at least so hello after so many days I'm back and I really want to do do this sit down video because I cannot run from this at all even though I was procrastinating and for some reason well which I'm going to discuss now I was going through a storm of events in my life I'm literally saying a storm of events in my life a bazillion things even though it may look very simple from outside or people may not notice what I was going through but from my inside I was going through terrible situation the storm of things so if you are not yet subscribed to my channel I would definitely recommend you to subscribe my channel I hope you would like to continue in this video and on this channel to know more about things which are going to unfold eventually within some days even I don't know what's gonna happen so here it is so it started like for more than a year back a year ago that I was having mid cycle bleeding and I did not I did not told to anyone I did not share with anyone I was dealing with within me alone I know I shouldn't should not have done that but I did eventually but more than a year I was going through this and I did not know what was happening and I was so traumatized by my prior experience that I was not sharing with anyone what I was going through so there were a ton of things what I was going through uh, the mid-cycle bleed the constipation, uh, the gradual weight gain, which was out of my control, even though I was controlling so much. And for me, to be honest, I eat healthy. I am a healthy food lover. I don't like junk. In I I do it as as a cheat meal day, but I don't regularly eat that. But still, people guess by in this phase you're a junk food eater you don't exercise you don't do it and you don't do anything like it's it's so frustrating and I was so frustrated I was so frustrated the way doctors treated me like few years ago I was so hurt that I was traumatized to go back to the hospital and ask for help you know and last year i started to notice that my immune response or immunity was decreasing day by day day by day even though i was trying so hard which i could have done like I did everything except going to the hospital, telling doctor what things I'm going through. Except that I did everything in my power. I I was in a terrible state and was in a terrible state in the mind as well because it affects your mind so bad. I was so freaking depressed all the time all the freaking time I was depressed and that depression just compared to OCD like freaking OCD I'm telling you not like oh you need 
to clean this because the surface is looking dirty not cleaning type of OCD I cannot ask for help by myself because I was so freaking traumatized gripped by fear and people ignoring me the state of mind was that everything was going so much negative inside me the warfare was going inside my mind and I cannot even describe how I was in a bad situation I I because this this reason I could not even celebrate my birthday last year and I've been always uh, joining this birthday issue that I can I have not celebrated but every time that it's so hard to describe you know but I'll still try to explain okay imagine you are so much depressed and so much in anxiety and even though you want to do something complete your to-do list for such and such things the things is like you want to complete a task or to exercise or you want to complete your assignments but you cannot do like it was like out of my control and I can, could not could not handle this thing because from inside I was I was so helpless all the time anxious about things all the fear of unknown the fear of known those were so 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 much heavy on me and I could not ask for help I eventually knew that after a few months like last year, I knew that after a few months, my mom will take steps on this and then only I will get the wake up call and then I will say no, I will do it. I already knew that and that's what had happened. Yeah, I do have a history of PCOS. So, this was eventually related to that because what I came to know that the increased enormous amount of stress in your body no matter it's emotional physical or mental it will affect your endocrine system I mean I knew all the time but I was just suspecting I was not confirmed I was not confirmed but when the reports came last week, doctor said TSH, that is thyroid stimulating hormone, and prolactin because these two are first to be seen. If there is an abnormality, then we will further look back. And lo and behold, my TSH was raised. Not enormous amount, but like. In one point it was raised and my prolactin was normal completely fine everything was fine ultrasound was perfect normal picture it was all completely normal so you have to understand that I'm still in this low phase trying to overcome from this phase but at least I was so relieved on the day when I was diagnosed because I had some answers I had answers because just before the reports came out I remember saying to my mom that mom I'm feeling very afraid because I was feeling deadly afraid because I knew that if what I was suspecting if that is then good luck girl and I actually also felt afraid because I felt guilty for not asking for help for anyone and by no means by no means I would say that I was not feeling motivated enough at all no inspiration no motivation I was all the time 
depressed and I'm still am and I'm thankful that I got answers and I pray that it may it will heal it has been healed forever and ever but my phase of suffering was too long uh, I really don't want get any sort of rude comments so please just if you want to give any sort of rude comments or any negative comments or anything you are not agree with what I'm saying if you are not in this boat I mean I, have, I mean if you are not been through this type of situation then please don't comment anything and ruin everything and that's my strict advice to you and I am I do not want any sort of advice rude comments right now I'm here to make this video to document myself and to give hope to fellow women those who are too going through this journey they have been I mean people are going through hypothyroidism like since the childhood like as young as 10 years 9 years it's, it freaked me out I never ever I never imagined that I would ever have this but this may affect any age group that's for sure uh, my sister had it my cousin sister I'm talking about she had it she used to take uh, this tablets I thought in my mind oh I don't have that I will not get that but I was wrong and for the time being doctors kept me in the lowest dose of thyroxine and some other pills that I those are supported for pieces but I'm here to just document it that okay I want to say it out loud that it was though it was my mistake that I didn't ask for help because I was so traumatized I had the worst PTSD you guys because getting this red spot in the middle of your cycle is like so traumatizing and for seeing this thing for like months and year together it's so traumatizing and I haven't spoken and I haven't shared this exact thing on my cycle period with my mom and I always keep this to myself because I thought that I can handle but I couldn't due to my decreased immunity because hello it affects immunity too I had lots of symptoms last year like GI symptoms okay, it affects okay 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 the thing I was also frustrated about was my GI symptoms, okay? I was always constipated, always constipated and if I even tried something to relieve from my constipation, the next thing I knew was diarrhea. I'm constipation or diarrhea? No, I'm not talking about IBD, okay? I'm talking here about my this GI symptoms hormone related so basically this thing affects a whole metabolism of our body and I accept that I was in under highest amount of stress because a I was dealing with menstrual problems before like uh, years back and two I chose a very stressful profession which 
I will not reveal for now. If you may, you can get the clue from my last videos what I am presently. But yeah, I would point out to stress for this thing and it really opened my eye, opened my mind and now after taking medications for like one week I noticed that my GI symptoms are slowly improving, that everything goes well and it's not not immense increase level of TSA but still it has increased from the highest range I mean I I, I actually want you guys to share your story in the comments below about your story how you got to this point were you always aware of this thing or were you not aware of this thing I was aware of this thing I have studied about this thing but I was not expecting to happen with me and this was very eye-opening eye-opening was I actually want to make a support system in this channel and I wish you get me get some help for now that's for now I will continue after this video and other extra points or things related to lockdown in this coronavirus season I hope you stay safe, stay well, stay clean and please, please, please avoid my own contacts, avoid crowd and stay at home and discover things what you love the most at your home and 